What's up, people of God? Welcome to Fire and Water. You guys ready to praise the Lord tonight? Amen. Let's lift our voices. Let's lift our hands. Let's lift our hearts to God tonight. There is a river where goodness flows. There is a fountain that drowns sorrows. There is an ocean. Deeper than fear, the tide is rising, rising. There is a current stirring deep inside. It's overflowing from the heart of God. The flood of heaven crashing over us. The tide is rising, rising. So we're not done yet, right? Yay. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah? All right, let's go.
You guys ready? Sing a little louder. 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 In the presence of my enemies. Sing a little louder. Louder than the unbelief. Sing a little louder. My weapon is a melody. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. One more time. Sing a little louder. Oh, I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder. You're gonna hear my praises roar up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. The king is alive. One more time. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Soldiers at. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Let's hear you. Where are my Sing soldiers at? Louder. If that's you, lift up my hands Sing and lift up your voices. Louder. Come on. Resurrection power is here tonight. Amen. Same resurrection power that raised Jesus from the grave is the same power that's here tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for your presence in this place. And once again, we just are so thankful for your grace, for your mercy, for the cross. For your precious blood that you shed on the cross for us. Thank you for your love. 
Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you. When we were not faithful, you remained faithful. And we are a thankful people here. Precious Holy Spirit, we ask you once again, please have your way in this place. your church, your people, and we pray your will to be done. And not one of us to walk out the same way we came in. And to everybody watching at home, not one person to walk away from watching this service tonight, from wherever they're watching, the same way they started. Touch, heal, deliver, set free, restore, save. And we give you all the glory and all the honor for what you've done. We give you all the glory and all the honor for what you're doing, and we give you all the glory and all the honor for what you're about to do. In Jesus' name, and everyone said? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Um, 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 welcome to Saturday night service at Fire and Water. International Church, Church in the Hood. Um, to everybody watching at home, God bless you. Thank you for joining us once again. Um, um, praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you for trusting us with the things of God. God bless you. Tonight, um, Ian, why don't you come on up? Woo! Praise the Lord. Ian, why don't you, um, um, I don't know if you want to sing a song. You want to just like open up and let everybody, we're going to do, a, uh, we're going to get back to some worship. And then we got Pastor Dora here from, from, uh, right down the street, the, the, uh, are, are, we're on the same team who has a church right on right on the other side of 24th Street here, and um, she's going to be sharing the word, and um, and sharing a, and, and throwing in a little bit of Spanish in there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And 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 I know many of you are wondering the the answer to this question: Donde está la playa? Donde, uh, did you just say, uh, say it again? Oh, come. Donde, donde esta la playa, senor? Where's the beach? Where's the beach? Oh, my goodness. Well, you're in the right place to get some help tonight. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, Ian, why don't you um, just share? I know Ian and his family have been faithful to this church for many years. Um, a big part of, like, every aspect of ministry here um they've been involved children's ministry media ministry worship praise you name it they've been involved and they've been they've been um um, um part of what has been has, has helped us get to where we're at and um and what helps continue to to, to move this thing forward but they're always going to be a, a a foundation you know of what fire and water is all about so tonight just for the before we we, we move forward we're just going to take a little bit of time his family's going to come forward. They're going to share just a couple, uh, some testimonies of what God's done while they've been here. And um, but before um, we're going to loosen them up a little bit, we're going to get them. They, they do. They, up. They're still a little stiff, huh? We're going to do the song real quick. Yeah. He's got a song. Yeah. Who wants to hear a song? Quick. Now this is a song Praise that you that you wrote. Yes. Yeah, so by by so the glory of God. Yes. So this is Ian, and he's um and he's he's going to sing us on. This is his. He wrote this song, and also we also have. Why don't you tell him about the album that we that yourself and. Tony back here, and um, um, that's my brother Tony. Yeah, Tony's right over here. Tony, yep, bringing Christ every time. Yeah, and who was it? One, who am I? Gilbert. Gilbert. Uh, Gilbert. Hey, shout out to Gilbert. We love you in New Mexico. Praise the Lord, Gilbert, Corrine, and their family. God bless you. We love you. Pastor Rob was on there too. Pastor Rob, I, I was in on it too. He was in there too. I got in there also. <laughs> I got in there. So, so. Um, um, and I mean, Francesca, there was, there was the other Francesca. And Francesca, yes, her Praise daughter, Lord. yeah. So, so by the way, if you have not received that, it's like, there's like there's like uh, I think like what nine or ten songs, and it's like ten. There's songs an altar. Think, yeah. There's an altar call at the end. Many of you have received it. If you have not received an album of um, of the um, Church in the Hood um, CD of this music, all written here, all from the people that have been in this church and have been impacted here on the way out. Um, Bonnie, praise the Lord. Can you hear me? Ah, praise the Lord. Hey, if someone comes up to you on the way out and they ask for a CD, make sure you give it to them. And, and, um, and you know, and, and, and we just want to be a blessing. Amen. You know why? Look at someone and say, because that's how we roll. Enjoy it. Listen to it. 
and then I want you to do something with it afterwards, after some time, and after it's ministered to you, be a blessing to somebody. And like I said, at the end, there's an altar call for salvation, and, um, but the music, and there's testimonies in it, um, uh, so you pray, and then hand it off to somebody. Um, it could be the difference. It could be that, 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 that last step that, they, that, you know, that, that, that helps them get to, to the cross. Amen? Praise the Lord. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way. You're good, Pastor. I love you, man. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while since we've been back to fire and water. You know, we've been doing stuff online and stuff. So it's a blessing to be here. And I really miss coming and being with everybody and just, you know, being in God's presence. You know what I'm saying? So God bless all you guys, man. All y'all are brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, God's been good, man. God changed my life. You know, I know there's plenty of stories in here, but, um, you know, and they're all good and they're all have God involved. You know what I'm saying? Uh, doesn't mean it isn't messy, doesn't mean it isn't crazy, but, you know, we all have a testimony, you know, and um, God's been good, man. He's changed my life, you know, from, from drugs and alcohol and all the craziness, you know. So tonight, I just want to, this song is called So Good, you know, because God is just so good. You guys can relate, amen? We can all be in agreement, right, that God is so good. So if you guys want to stand, you guys can say whatever you guys are comfortable with, but when the chorus comes on, these guys are going to help me out, and it's just going to be like, he's so good, he's so good, he's so good, yeah, all the time. So if you guys want to chime in, you guys can feel free, amen, and just get your praise on. So, Pastor Rob, go ahead, man. God been good to you. Let's give him some praise. So good, he's so good, he's so good, yeah, all the time. He's so good, he's so good, he's so good, yeah, all my life. He's so good, he's so good, he's so good, yeah, all the time. He's so good, he's so good, he's so good. Let me talk to him. He rescued me from affliction, set me free from addiction, turned my life around and drew a whole new direction, gave me love and affection, covered me with protection, loved me when I was unlovable, without a question, that is where I was destined, and definitely what I deserve, instead of kicking me to the curb, he picked me out the dirt, brushed me off with his grace, showed me what I was worth, he healed me from all my hurt, and quenched me from all my thirst, I went from messes to blessings, from stresses depression to speak in his message to all the young and the restless and I ain't nobody special but to him I am precious that's why singing his praises and constantly be confessing he's so good he's so good he's so good yeah all the time he's so good you're so good you're so good yeah all my life he's so good he's so good he's so good yeah, all the time, he's so good, he's so good, he's so good, yeah. He's so amazing, the rock of ages, he never changes. Been by my side through each and every one of life's phases. No matter what I'm facing, it's him I put my faith in. So when I'm walking through this valley, I will not be shaking. Even when evil's peeping at me with them poker faces. I know my God's got a strong hand, the smoking aces. He took the nails in his hand, not just to take our places. He chose to take his love and fill it up in broken faces. What other God you know can send his only son? to save us. Jesus Christ, the name above all names, remains the greatest. He is worthy of all the glory, the honor, and praises. So much of my days, and I'm going to keep on singing. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Yeah, all the time. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Yeah, all my life. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Man, God, you're so good. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. God is good. So praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory and honor, Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord. So um, 
We're going to transition just for a second. Uh, I'm not going to try to take too much of you guys' this time. Let Pastor Dora come up here and bless us with the word. But, um, honey, do you want to come up here with the kiddos? That's okay. We'll get him up here in a minute. Kid, the okay. kiddos are right here. The kiddos. Hey, babe. Hey. <laughs> I always got to mess with her. Yes, we will. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we just wanted to share a little bit tonight and just in, encourage some people. Um, just some stuff that God's done in our life, you know, recently and just kind of him, him moving, you know. Whenever um, we were waiting on some stuff, you know, God, God is faithful, you know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times when we, when we're waiting on God and when we're going through stuff, you know, God allows us to go through things, not because he wants to, you know, put us through all that stuff, but I think it's so he can um, get us to a place to where we, we trust him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's the one that made us, he's the one that created everything, you know? And like my uh, t- uh, almost 10-year-old son Isaac told me one time, he said, he said, God, don't worry, or Dad, don't worry, God knows what he's doing, you know what I'm saying, and, and that was so profound, he had no idea what he had just said, but it blessed me so much, you know, because God does know what he's doing, you know, and, and, and he is in control, and he is working even when we can't see it, even when we're waiting, and sometimes if we're waiting, and we're waiting, and it's for years, it's, you know, sometimes, and, but there's a reason behind that, and um, we had, um, we have, you know, three beautiful children. Praise God. All glory to God. Um, but we weren't done, you know. Like, we wanted to have another one. I guess I guess we're kind of greedy like that. <laughs> Just one more. Just one more, you know. And um, so uh, it was really heavy on my wife's heart. She really wanted to have one more baby, you know. And um, so we had been trying for about two years or so. And... You know, did you want to share anything about that? Yeah. So we've been um, waiting, believing, praying. We had people here that was praying for us. A lot of you that know us um, was standing firm and believing with us. And thank you. And um, it just seemed like every month after month after month was just no, no, no. And, you know, it's heartbreaking because you want it so bad. And um, God just brought me to a place of just trusting him and just standing on his promise because there was a gentleman here named Howard Bell that um, prophesied over me. And I just, every time I felt like giving up, God would pick me back up, right? Like you, you're going and you're just like, oh, I can't go no more, God. And he just picks us up right when we need it. And that's what he did for me. And, and you know, and he'll do it for you too not just, you know, I'm not special. We're special to God, but I'm not, you know. Um, anyways, so so we waited, and even after he spoke over us, it was still... Two, two years later, yeah. Two so years later. Four years, you know. Like, I know some people, you know, everybody's story is different, you know. Everybody is waiting on something, you know, whether it's a baby, whether it's a job, whether it's a wife, a husband, their kids to come home, you know. Yeah. There's so many different things that we're that all of us, so we all have a different story that we're waiting on, and, you know, sometimes it feels like it's taking forever, but, you know, um, Jesus told the, um, the disciples whenever uh, Lazarus was dead, and, and it had been so many days, and, the, and, the, and his uh, corpse was, you know, a foul odor, it says, you know, and, um, but Jesus told him, he said, believe in me, and you shall see my glory, and I'm a, before we started serving God, you know, I didn't have a lot of those moments where that most people would say, oh, that's just a coincidence, which we know it's not. You know what I'm saying? Um, but once we came to God and we said, all right, God, we trust you. We believe in you. You know, that's when we started to see things happen. And we would tell people the stuff that happened and they would just be like, you know, to them, they're like, oh, well, that's crazy. I can't believe that. Well, that's God, you know, and that's all him. And all we had to do was believe, you know, and sometimes it's hard because, Um, believing sometimes doesn't feel like it's enough, you know, because with belief, you have to have faith, you know, and it can be hard to have that faith, but just know that, that God is, um, is doing a work and all he wants us to do is just trust him, you know, 
so. Um, but as far as far as us waiting to have our our baby, um, you know, when Howard Bell came up here that day, um, I was back doing the sound, and he called her out of the audience. He didn't know her from anybody, you know. It and was it, his first time here. Yeah, we'd never met the guy, you know. So it was like, yeah. it was crazy. I was back there bawling like a baby, and. Uh, I remember looking at Pastor Gus, and Pastor Gus looked at me, and he just, like, he knew, because he knew our situation, you know, and... Because um, everything he said, only God knows. Only God knows. Nobody came up to him and was like, okay, this is the situation with this family, and, you know, no, God knew that, and everything he said was just right on point, and, you know, and I knew it was God speaking to me, speaking to us, our family, and just reminding us, because... You know, it was just, it was not looking like it was going to happen. So after, I mean, four years, after four years, so just, it looks like it's not going to happen. And you're just thinking, you know, I'm going to give up. I'm just, I'm giving up, right? We feel like giving up sometimes. But then when you really think about what am I giving up, what am I giving up, you know? So God, he's faithful. And if he says he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Yeah. So don't yeah. listen to anybody if they're telling you within your ear, it hasn't happened yet. You're still not married. You're still not this. You're still not that. You still don't have that promotion. It's going to happen if he says it's going to happen. That's right. Yep. So stand strong. My little baby is right here. So I'm here to say that. Haley, can you bring him up here, please? To say that, you know, God is faithful no matter what, like my husband said, you're believing for. <laughs> so this is Elijah Grayson. And our daughter, Haley. And Haley, our teenager. <laughs> so, yeah, so. This, this is, you know, this is God's word being faithful you know this is like where faith becomes real and you and 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 you see it you know and it doesn't always doesn't always happen you know right away sometimes yes. it takes time you know so maybe tomorrow maybe four years like we had no idea it was gonna take four years I mean we had three other kids and it was like no problem you know what I'm saying and then four years so it was just like it was crazy so or maybe it's been 10 years maybe you've been waiting for your children to be saved or your mom to be saved or a family member maybe it's been 15 years 20 years you know um but god is faithful he's in the family business and he's for you so he's gonna fight for you because when you're uh, if you are about his business he's gonna take care of yours so stand firm and you don't always have to be strong and you don't always have to put a smile on your face, but just keep going and just in his, in your weakness, he's he's made strong in you. So and you don't have to do it perfect either, you know. Like I think as people, we forget how to be real sometimes, you know, about what's going on and how we're feeling and everything, because all that stuff so can be so real in those moments. And um, I know, like just in transparency, okay. something my wife had told me earlier, you know, and I don't think she'll care if I share this or not, but. You know, it's like, it's like one of those things when you've been waiting so long, right, for that, for that thing to come to pass, and then the person next to you gets it. Pregnant. Like, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh, there's, she's pregnant. Everybody's pregnant, except for me, and I've been waiting for it, right? And or they got that job, and, you know, or they found a husband, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that stuff kind of makes you feel a certain type of way, you know, and, and you know, and you, you try to pull it off like it doesn't bother you, but things like that, you know, they... Like, it's okay to have, to, to, you know, to have those certain things, like, like, feel a certain way, you know? It's just how you deal with those, with those feelings, you know, that you have. It's how you respond. Yeah, amen, Pastor. So, but just want to be real that, like, we didn't, we didn't go through this whole thing, like, you know, like, here we go, you know? Like, everything's all good, you know? Like, lots there was, of tears. Yeah, lots, lots of, of tears, tears, you know? So, praise God. And then, um, one last thing, um, we, um. We've been out in Arizona for like 15 years now, and uh, we, we've been coming to Fire and Water since 2011, and um, we'd gotten to a point where God had well, you know, told us that that change was coming. He spoke to, to me first, and then you know, I didn't even say anything to my wife, and, and she came to me, and she said, I feel like God's telling us the change is coming. So we'd made the decision to, um, to not, not necessarily leave Fire and Water, because like Pastor said, man, like our hearts, a piece of our heart's always going to be here, you know? But we decided that it was time to, to move on, you know, and, and see what else God had, you know. And there's a timing for everything. But, um, you know, the places we were going, they were good and all, but it just didn't feel the same. You know, it just wasn't the same. And, um, 
and then obviously the whole corona thing happened and then nothing was the same, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyways, long story short, um, we had no idea the change God had in mind because now um, we're getting ready to move back to Kansas, you know, in, in two weeks, which is where we're from originally, but I, I would have never figured in a million years. I mean, we had just landscaped our backyard and we were, you know, had no plans of leaving, you know, but in, a, in an instant, you know, God can, God can change things, you know, and, and I know he has a purpose, you know, and, and a plan for all this, and there's a lot of um, stuff that we don't know that's going to happen, but the, no, the reason I know it was God was, you know, I, I talked to my job, and I, I, I work at a call center, but we're working from home right now, right? But they approved me to work from home in Kansas, so to me, that was a miracle in itself, you know, and that was... That was only God, you know, and, and then a good friend of mine, I was talking to about the situation and told him, you know, like, all I have to do now is sell my house, you know, who knows how, how that's going to work out, and, hey, Bradley, <laughs> I know, right, he's clapping, um, but he ended up buying my house, you know, when, how does that happen, you know, he just comes in and just buys my house for cash, you know, so we don't, so we don't have to worry about that, you know. And then we went looking for a house in Kansas to buy. And the lady that we um, found, she was a for sale by owner. Oh, yeah, online. We were looking for a house online. So we didn't, like, go to Kansas to look for a house. It was, like, yeah. So we were just looking at pictures, essentially, and doing, like, FaceTime stuff. But um, so that was crazy. But the lady was selling her house. She didn't have a realtor she was working with. And we got to talk with her. And she told us that the reason she's selling her house is so she can move to Arizona to be closer to family. So I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but that was, but that was God, man, just leading us through it, you know. And and I tell you, like, I was fidgeting the whole way, you know. Like, I wasn't sitting there like everything's good. Like, I worried too much, you know. And but through that whole process, God was just showing me, you know, just trust me. I got this. I'm not going to leave you in the middle. God doesn't leave us in the middle. You know what I'm saying? If God says, hey, I'm going to do this thing for you, if, if, if he's going to start a thing, then he's going to bring it to completion. You know what I'm saying? And, and too many times, I know myself, I've been guilty of, of, you know, getting out in the middle of the sea and just like, just like Peter, you know what I'm saying, starting to sink, you know, but, but God is going to bring it to completion. He's going to bring it all to completion within us. So um, that's... That's all I had, guys. I just want to encourage you guys. You know, that's just a little bit of what we, a testimony that God's doing in our life. So, praise God. Oh, come on now. Celebrate with them. Amen. Amen. And I believe God is speaking to many even right now and even online just um, what God's done with this precious family and um, as they stood and believed, and it took some time, but God was faithful. So I believe God is speaking to some people right now where you are, you're at a place where you want to give up or, you know, you're just like, man, I'm just done. God is saying, I'm not done with you. I'm still on my throne. I'm the author and finisher of your faith. I got you covered. Amen. Keep trusting him. Keep following him, and God will do the rest. Amen. He's not trying to take something from us. He's not trying to hurt us. He's not trying to mess with us. He's trying to bless us, protect us, keep us, and get us places safely. And when we get to places that we're prepared to handle the blessings and the doors that he opens up. So when the door does open up, because sometimes, you know, you know, if he opens up a door prematurely, we think we're ready for something. But God knows when we're ready for it. And sometimes he's, he's working on our character. He's working on areas in our lives. So then when he does open up that door, we're able to handle the blessing and not lose the blessing, not mishandle the blessing. Because if, because if it's premature and we're not ready for it, we don't just hurt ourselves. We also hurt everybody around us. Well, that's a word. Like if God gave me and opened up the door with this ministry, and everything that's happening right now five years ago or ten years ago and let me tell you five or ten years ago or ten years ago I was like yeah I'm ready for everything I would have lost my mind things that 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 they, they used to keep me up ten years ago don't even affect me today 
because I've been because I've been through some stuff. I've been through some fires and some 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 similar situations. So now um, it, I don't respond the same way, and I'm able to just rest and trust the Lord because I'm oh I've been there before. Oh I've seen that giant before. Oh I know what God did with that giant. Amen. So just 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 be at peace with where you're at. Keep positioning yourself where God wants you to be. Keep placing yourself in a place of victory, because if you're in a place of victory, you can't be in a place of defeat. Keep doing your part. Keep doing the possible, and God will do the impossible. Their miracle and their word that they keep on referring to when they were struggling or when, they, when, when you were saying earlier, actually, like, like, as far as like sometimes when you really, you know, were getting down, you remembered the word that you received here, that God used somebody, and you knew that it was the Lord because no one knew what was going on. But where were they at? They were in church where they were supposed to be. They received a word. Tonight, what's happening? You're receiving a word. You're receiving a word. So nothing but good comes out of being in a place of victory. Can someone say amen? <laughs> Lift up your hand and say, I receive it. Now look at someone and say, everything's going to be all right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, well, well, let's do this. Um, let's, we're gonna, let's just, we, have, we have another song. Let's do a worship song. Let's do a worship song so we can bring up Pastor Dora here in a few minutes. But before we do that, let's take the offering. Praise the Lord. Um, watching at home, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your trust. Amen. And again, anybody watching online, you can, um, you know, just follow the instructions on the screen. You can give online through our webpage. You can mail it in or you can even stop by the church during the week and just drop it off. Thank you for your faithfulness. I'm going to say that again. Thank you for your faithfulness. And to everybody here for the season that we were not here, you guys have been ridiculously obedient and faithful. And I just want to say thank you because this has probably been the toughest stretch that we've ever had as a church. And God has taken care of everything. But again, it's the Lord and to him be the glory and all the honor. But it's your obedience to listen to what God's telling you to do. And, um, and, 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 and where you think like people would pull back, everyone has stayed consistent in, in their giving. You know, so thank you for that. Amen. Praise God. And we are moving forward. Quick announcement. We're also working on the youth building over here. Not next week, but the following week, we're going to start Saturday night. The teenagers are going to, we're going to have, um, we're going to have um, um, uh, um, um, class for them. We're going to have a service for them. We're actually going to work in the back. We already started working on it today. We're going to put some, we're the basketball court. We're going to put some fake grass back there. We're, we're setting it all up. So, um, not next Saturday, but the following Saturday, we're going to start with the teenagers, Saturday nights. So that'll be the start with the kids or teenagers. And then little by little, we're going to work our way backwards to the kids' ministry and the children's ministry. We're just going to do things one step at a time, okay? So in two weeks, that's a big step. Praise God. And then eventually, we're, gonna, we're working on our breakfast ministry on Sunday morning and getting that up and running because that is who we are. Amen and just reaching and blessing and feeding. So, um, so we're working on how we're going to do that in a safe way, but to get it up and running. And I believe that'll be coming sooner than later um, in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen? So you guys, God bless you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you um, once again for the opportunity and the privilege to be able to gather together to lift up your name and, um, and to give to your kingdom. It's a privilege. Bless your people as they give here tonight and give us an even greater harvest of souls through this offering. And thank you for the provision for the vision. Um, and, and, and to you be all the glory and all the honor. This is your church. This is your people. And Lord, this is place is a miracle and only you can get the glory for everything that has happened in this place. And we thank you in Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen. So what we're going to do is the ushers are just going to, if you have an offering, you can just lift up your hand and the ushers will come to you and you can just um, um, go ahead and God bless you.
So I yield to you and to your careful hands. When I trust you, I don't need to understand. Make me a vessel. Make me an offering. Make me whatever you want me to be.
Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Oh, yeah. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Watch this. We're going to, I want you, if you. I was going to have Pastor Dora come up, but God's going to do something right now before she comes up. Some stuff that's going to break off some people's lives right now. As you worship the Lord and just lift up your voices and sing this song. And if someone's like wondering, like, well, how do you, did God just, in my spirit right now, just God spoke to me and brought me back to this song that you brought up to me earlier tonight. And God's saying, play the song right now. And there's some things that are going to break off people's lives. And I'm not going to sit here and say, like, specific, I don't, I don't have specifics. You know what you're dealing with and what you're going through. And God is saying there's some stuff that's about to break. Do you believe it? I said, do you believe it? Do you believe that he inhabits the praises of his people? Do you believe that it's not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord? Do you believe that in his presence there's power, there's victory, there's breakthrough, there's turnaround, there's restoration, there's healing, amen? Do you believe it? No, 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 do you believe it? Because there's no point to go any further if you don't believe it. If you believe it, lift up your hands, lift up your voices. Let's go, come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Here we go. Woo! To God be the glory for what he's doing right now. All the glory. There is power Woo! in the name of Jesus. There it is. So much power in the name of Jesus. Do what? Hell, there is power in the name of Jesus. Do what? You do what? What? To break every chain. To break every chain.
see him. There's an army rising up. Right here. There's an army Look at someone say, what? That's how things change. The Bible says, God says, the battle doesn't belong to us. The battle belongs to the Lord. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood. This is a spiritual battle. Everyone watching at home, with everything that's going on, this is how we're going to get breakthrough and turnaround. Right here. What we're doing right here. Prayer, worship, and praise releases the hands of God to step in and do his thing. Amen? Amen. You may be seeing the presence of the Lord. 
You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I think we're ready for the word. I think everything is set. Are you ready for the word tonight? Would you help welcome uh, Pastor Dora, our speaker tonight? Amen. Amen. One of my favorite speakers, and um, she's just got the fire. She's got the heart of this church. Um, known each other for a long time. She's doing a wonderful work. And not just here, but over, you were just sharing with me in Mexico with the missions work and more, the more, the church is now also. It's just awesome. Amen. So we're so thankful for you. The husband, God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Huge blessing to our church. Amen. And of course, you know what I'm going to say? Say something in Spanish to start off with. Okay. Claro que sí. Que Dios les bendiga. Gloria a Dios. Dios les bendiga a cada uno de ustedes que están aquí en esta noche. Es, ¿Sabe que hay un mover de Dios tan poderoso en este lugar? There is a move of God so powerful right now. The power of God is doing, you know what? God is doing some stuff right now. People is being delivered. I can feel it in my in, the, in my spirit i feel the power of god and you know i know that i'm not going to take very long he said 25 minutes it's not going to be 25 minutes i know that what god he wants to continue with this move he wants to continue he's gonna do some awesome things tonight but um, I want to share a word with you guys. I thank the Lord for the privilege to come. You guys are my favorite church. Yeah? Yeah? Other than Agua Viva. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh. No, it's, you, know, you know what I'm saying, do you? <laughs> uh, I thank the Lord for our fire and water. You guys have been a tremendous blessing to our, our life, to my life, and to the ministry. Up to, you know, um, when I first came here, uh, it's been a while now, some years back, but um, you guys have been a tremendous blessing. Um, I see fire and water, uh, you know, things happen, but when things get a little rough, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I like to be very transparent, and you guys know that I just tell you everything when things get rough I said well you know if things get really bad here at Agua Viva I always can go to fire and water <laughs> and I, but, you, but it's like you know I will go over there but God knows what he's doing and we're working um, and let me tell you guys are soldiers all of uh, we're, this is this is God is raising up an army and we are the soldiers right now. And I want you to know some of, some of you are thinking, but I don't know if I can, if I can you know. Uh, yeah, you are a soldier because you're here. You know, if you, if you were not a soldier, maybe you would not be here. But if you're here, you're a soldier. If you're here, you're a soldier. Amen. In the army of God. So I thank the Lord for the for the blessing of being here and being able to share the word of God and I want to share with you guys something that is be, God has been um, speaking to to my to my life I, I I think the Lord you know because when the everything started I got pretty scared who got scared when everything started coming you know when when the um, the coronavirus started who was scared were you scared? I was scared. I was scared, and I would, I would, uh, I enter into a time of, of, um, of just um, seeking the Lord, and then He told, He gave me, um, He gave me forty days. It was like a forty days of like for like a daily bread. 
for 40 days he gave me for the first 40 days that every the days that, that this started he gave me like a devotional every single day I will get up and he will shh, give me the devotion and I was like praise the Lord praise because I was getting to you know every single day it was, it was I remember um, uh, uh, when the people of God was getting the the, the uh, manna remember that there was bread for, from heaven and, and, and they were getting it every single day. And I was getting it every single day for 40 days. But let me tell you that, that after the 40 days passed, I went and sat down on my desk. And I sat down and I was, well, God has given us the word, you know. But, but I was like, oh, uh, this, this, no. He said, I gave you 40 days. <laughs> I gave you 40 days. I wanted more, you know. I was sitting there like, okay, Lord, give me. And because I, I share it, I share that one. And before, I didn't want to share anything with anybody. That's the truth. You know, I, I say, well, can you do it on Facebook? No. And, you know, if you're going to, um, what do you call um, record me. Don't record me. Put your phone away. Don't. And now I'm saying, hey, bring your phones. Everybody record because you know God changes God changed my mind the way of seeing things you know in those 40 days and I wanted to share the word and it and up to now it's still there but today I want to share with you um and first Corinthians go to first Corinthians um I think it's chapter four chapter five First Corinthians chapter five, and it's I'm gonna read verse seven. The word of God says, "Remove this wicked person from among you, so, so that you can stay pure." Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, purge, and I like that, that, this purge out the old, uh, the old man, the old, it says right there, leaven, leaven, that you may be a new lump since you truly have been saved. The word of God that whoever is in Christ is a new creation we are a new creation but uh, be, uh, before we are a new creation our hearts are our we have heart hard hearts you know like stone hearts and the lord said i'm going to give you a heart of flesh I'm going to take away the, the, the heart of, 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 of stone. Hallelujah. And I'm going to give you a new heart. A heart that can feel, that can feel the, my love, my word when I speak to you. And um, there is three things that I want to share with you. Her, he, here, here. You know. Faith comes by faith comes by what? Hearing. By hearing. Okay, faith comes by hearing. We need to hear God's word. But then second, we need to understand God's word. And then we have to visualize his work. Three things we need to do. But sometimes with the, when your heart it has not been changed. You cannot do these things. You, you're not able. It's like you hear, but you don't hear. You see, but you don't see. You, you hear, but you don't understand. It's like some people say, I don't want to read the word of God because it, it, I don't understand anything it says. But you know what? When your heart, when, you, when God changes your heart, then the word of God is open to you. It's open to you. And now you understand. So um, there are some things that uh, make 
they give that people has a heart uh, a, their hearts have the hardened así is that how you say su corazón ha sido endurecido aleluya su corazón ha sido endurecido pero no es it's not because of that people's choice it's not your fault it's not no it's not it's not your fault because there's some stuff that make you know rejection can make you hard hard rejection can do that when you experience rejection especially from it could be from your parents or it can be from from uh, from someone you love someone you care and then rejection you know uh, or maybe i don't know i don't know why but rejection to feel like nobody cares abandoned abandoned you just feel like why why is this person has abandoned me why is why is he left or she left or or my parents why what did i do why did they abandon me what did i do wrong that causes the heart to be hardened that causes the heart to be hardened but also abuse abuse comes in many shapes abuse it can be verbal abuse physical abuse or even sexual abuse that hardens the heart it makes so you see a, some people uh, some and you see them and their heart is just so hard you see them and you feel you talk to them and, and it's like you're talking to a wall a brick wall the, the word is like it cannot go through but i'm here tonight to tell you that there is a, there is good news that for those hearts that have been hardened there is um infidelity or resentment so many things the heart the heart that has that sometimes it, you choose you know because if someone has hurt you or damaged you you need to forgive you need to let it go you need to let it go you have to let it go so you can move on and be able to feel God's presence to feel the love of God you know when he reaches out to you like he's doing tonight like he's i mean ever since the worship started God is just doing an awesome job in reaching up to you you know sometimes we we think oh it's cuz i need to be a better person oh i need to do this i need to pray more i need to do that no jesus already did everything for you and for me it's all uh, it, it's all done it is finished <laughs> the work has been finished the work for our salvation is already done so tonight i want you to you know signs of a heart that it's like a rock you talk you they don't want to receive any do you want to give them like an advice they don't want it their heart is being hardened they don't want to get your advice they don't need it they think so because the heart is hardened but you know what um uh, another thing is that uh efficient uh efficient chapter 4 ver verse 10 Efesios capítulo 10 um el capítulo um Sí, Efesios 4 verso 10. Si lo puede if you can find oh there it is. He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things he is the only one that can fill your heart 
with joy, with happiness, with forgiveness, with, with love, you know. He wants to do that, but we need to allow him. God, God wants us to, tonight, God wants you to give him your heart. Give him your heart. Come just as you are and just give him your heart. Even if it's a, it's a heart that has been um, hardened, give, him, give it to him. I can assure you that he can change tonight. He will give you a new heart. He will give you a new heart. That way you can believe not only in God, but in people. Because you come to a point when your heart has been so hardened that you, you, you go up and you're not believing God. You, you don't believe people. You don't believe anybody. But it's time to come. And say and give him, you know, bring your heart. And you know the, the condition of your heart. We all know. Nobody has to tell me what's in my heart. The word of God says that no one knows what's in the spirit in the spirit of man, but the man itself. You know exactly what's in your heart. And God wants to work tonight in your heart. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. But you have to allow him. Um, John chapter 3, verse 17. For God has not sent his son into the world to condemn the world. God did not send Jesus to come and, and, and pound on us. And, and No, Jesus did not come for that. He came that the whole world through him might be saved, might have a new heart. We need to have a new heart. You know, sometimes, no matter how long you've been in church, sometimes you get, you're in church, but your heart still gets, it gets hardened. By, you know, oh, it's because sister, oh, it's because brother, oh, it's because this, oh, it's because pastor, oh, it's because, are you getting it? Am I, yeah, is God speaking to us tonight? And we need to get rid of that. We need to just let it go. Why? Because a heart that is, that is hardened, it cannot receive. It can be the presence of God can be moving and doing, and you can be sitting there like, okay, keep on, keep on doing what you're doing because your heart. But tonight, God is inviting us. He wants to give you a new heart. A new heart. He wants to take everything out. He wants to break the chains. Amen. And he wants to give you a new heart. A heart that forgives. A heart that loves. A heart. This is, um, Matthew chapter 13 verse 15. This can happen. This can happen in, in, our, um, in our walk. You know. Can happen. It says. For the hearts of his people, for the hearts of these people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes, they have closed. Last they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears. Let they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I shall heal them. So that I shall heal them. We are right now with everything that is happening. A lot of hearts from the church. A lot of people, you know, people that used to come to church are not here. Because of everything that is, has happened has hardened their heart. But I'm here to tell you tonight that the Lord wants to change that. He wants to remove everything and he wants you to start all over again because God is in control.
controlled and he sees. You know, people may be saying, oh, it's because he's not a very good Christian or here or that. But God knows. God knows what is happening inside. Amen. So um, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish right now. And I'm going to read. It's, these are good news. Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 19. 19. Word of God says, I'm going to give you, hallelujah, I, there, then I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within them and take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a, a heart of flesh. A heart of flesh that they may feel the power of God. God is still in his throne. N nothing can change the fact that God is God. I don't care what's happening right now, how the world is moving, what's falling, but God is still sitting on his throne. He is still God. And he's still in control. And he loves us. He loves you. He loved you. He loved you. He loved you. If you're up there and you going through a heart, let me tell you, God loves you. And he wants to reach out today to you and give you a new heart about that. You know, you can go to, uh, you know, us ladies that like to go shopping, you know, or, or, and, or men that like to buy, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, you know what men like to buy? No, we don't like to buy the same things. <laughs> we like dresses, shoes, all that kind of stuff. You guys have the garage filled with so much stuff. I was so, you know, I was so, oh, it's so funny because my my husband, uh, he he uh, he went to this store and then he bought this thing. It's like a blower, and then I was I was sleeping. It was like six o'clock in the morning, and in, in the morning, and then he's got his thing. I said, "What is that thing?" And he said, "Oh, I bought me this so I can, so I can." But where can you go and get a new heart? Where can you get a new heart? You know what? Today, you can get a new heart. We're not talking about money. We're not talking about tools. We're not talking about nothing. We're talking about the real thing. God renewing, giving us a new heart. A heart that can feel his love, his power, his anointing. So he can break. That's what breaks the chains. Right there. That's what breaks the chains. The new heart breaks the chain. Every chain is broken. And I want you guys to sing that. Yes, yes, because I told you I wasn't going to take very long. Because the Lord is still moving. and He's still doing something right now. He wants to break every chain. And they come in all shapes. You know what you're dealing with right now. You're, you know exactly what you're dealing, what the Lord is going to do it tonight. Did you believe it? Yes. Now I'm going to tell you something. There is people here who are struggling with prayer like never before. I know there is people like that right now. I know that there's people that are struggling with prayer, Pastor. Such a necessity. But tonight, the Lord is going to give you. He's going to break that change. And it, the desire of, you know, of being, of talking to the Lord will arise once more in your heart. Don't be so hard on yourself. God knows. And tonight, there is, uh, there is people. 
I know that there is brothers here that are going through a financial thing. He wants to break that off. He wants to break that off. That change of lack in your heart, in your life. Believe it tonight. Stand, stand up. And the, the brothers are going to sing that song. And let the, let the power of God do what he knows to do best. To deliver. To deliver. To renew. Lord, give us a new hope. start it's the way you finish and God is not intimidated with your sins but he died for every one of your sins and the good news tonight and watching at home is this if you're breathing there's still time it's not too late God hasn't given up on you amen 
there's still time to get it right one meteor between heaven and earth his name is Jesus Christ those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved that's where the miracle starts this is the whole message tonight it starts surrendering our hearts to the Lord amen and watching at home your altars right where you're at and right now right where you're at let's all pray this prayer together amen pray this prayer with me Heavenly Father I need you I'm a sinner and I need a Savior I believe you sent your son Jesus to this earth for me and those who call upon his name shall be saved Jesus I call upon your name help me save me wash me with your blood and renew a right spirit within me I ask you to come into my heart and be Lord and Savior of my life and be Lord and Savior of my life from this day forth I'm all yours I'm all yours use me for your glory in Jesus name and everyone said amen. amen watch me if you just prayed that for the first time welcome to the family of God for my prodigal sons and daughters welcome home again amen let's get to work there's work to be done pastor Dory you said something very powerful and this is there's many of us right here and as we sing this I want you as we sing this again I want you to take your hand in the next few minutes because God's gonna do something she was talking about when we have a stony heart and sometimes it's not because of a, 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 a it's a, a circumstances that have happened that were out of our control circumstances introduced into our lives as, as she um, as, as Pastor Dora was sharing that, that that happened maybe in the past or some things in the church or whatever it might be and 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 now it's hard when you have a heart that can't receive or hear faith comes by hearing by hearing the Word of God because there's a wall up and if we can't hear then how can we understand my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge so how can we understand and then if we can't understand how can we have how can we look forward my people are destroyed okay watch this for for, for, for lack of knowledge but also uh, uh, how can we have vision how can we have vision how can we have vision for the future if we can't hear can't understand and then can't look forward but let me go a little further how can we believe in others you said something that just hit me in my spirit and I've had moments where it's like you know I've, my heart's always been this church to reach others but it's hard some there's been moments where because things have happened and because of what you're dealing with it starts to affect it, it starts to affect us or affect you or the world around you so you look at somebody else and instead of building them up and speaking life into them it's hard to reach them because of the hurt that you've been through so it hinders you from being effective to reach the person next to you the Bible says death and life and the power of the tongue we've been called to reach others but if my heart is hard and if I allow it to continue then uh, my heart becomes cold towards the people around me does that make sense so how are we supposed to reach our world so so the Lord showed me in the church today people that have called upon the name of the Lord in the process of the journey of the walk with the Lord hurt has come in hearts have gotten cold and it's become a hindrance to reaching the people around us it starts with us allowing God to touch our heart and some hurt being real it's hard to let it go but we've got to be willing to take it to the Lord because that's where the miracle starts and God has sent us his messenger tonight to help us so we can get free in this area and get healed so thank God for the word tonight this is a word from heaven tonight this is a word from heaven tonight so so watch this so 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 it's hard sometimes 
but as I've said many times, the great, one of the greatest prayers you're going to pray is this. Just the willingness to say, okay, Lord, I can't. This thing is real. Uh, I, I'm just, I, I'm frustrated. I'm upset. But you can. And I know this is the right thing to do because you forgave me for much. So sometimes we just got to stop for a moment. So when there's been some things that have happened in our lives, we just got to take a step back and remember what God's done for us and what we've done and how we hurt the Lord with our sin and how merciful he was towards us. And when you start to think about that a little bit, that starts to help the process of saying, okay, I'm still struggling with this, but Lord, I can't, I'm struggling with it, but I know you can. So I bring my heart to you and I pray for your will to be done. That's where the miracles start to happen. And when God touches our heart and we, and we take that step, then we're able to take the next step and start to believe in others where the world has given up on, society has given up on, the church world has given up on, you're able to go forth and speak faith into their lives, share Jesus into their lives, not look at the negative or their liability, liabilities, but you see the greatness and the call and the assignment of where God wants to take them, that it's not over, that it's not the way you start, it's the way you finish, that there is hope, there is hope, there is time, but see, you can't, it's hard to believe in somebody else and love somebody back to life and if our heart's cold. Because if my heart's cold, I can't, I'm not, I'm not even hearing from the, from the Lord. My faith is not where it needs to be. I'm not getting the understanding to hear the word and get direction. And then also I don't have vision of the, the cause of what, of what this is all about and what God wants to do in the future. So then I, it starts to impact and affect the people around me. But if my heart's right and God touches it, I, I'm able to hear the word. I'm able to receive the word. Faith comes by hearing, by hearing the word of God. And then I'm able to move forward and believe in others. I'm, believe, I, I'm able to bring hope to others. I'm, I'm able to look at somebody and not look at where they're at, but look at where God wants to bring them. Powerful. Amen. So I want us to sing this song one more time. Pastor Doyle, will you do me a favor? I want to sing this one more time. And with what I just shared, I want you, as we sing it, I want you to take your hand and put it on your heart. Lord, and, and, and what I just shared, and if you're struggling with an area, just say, Lord, I can't, but you can. Here's my heart. I give it to you. Okay? And watch. God's going to do something supernatural right now. And then I'm going to have you come up and pray a blessing over the people. Would you please? Thank you. Ready? Praise the Lord. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. There's work to be done. There's power in the name of Jesus. What a God. There is power. What a God we serve. In the name of Jesus. Watch it at home, right where you are. Put your hand on your heart.
lift up your hands right now. Lord, right now. We receive your love. We receive your love, your heart right now. Your heart, your will. Your heart, your way. Your heart. We receive your heart. Your heart. And Lord, your heart. Your love. So we can love others for your glory. Your love. So we can reach the hurting, the poor, the afflicted, the addicted, and the lost. Your love. So we can get out your love. Tonight, breakthrough. Turn around. Walls to come down. Champions to rise. Where people have been stuck, held hostage to the past. It breaks tonight. Set your people free to move forward and accomplish the greatness, their purpose, their assignment, their destiny for your glory in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Come on. Come on. Hey. There's an army rising up. There it is. There's an army. There you are. Army. There you are. Just you guys, come on. I hear those chains falling. Come on, at home, come on. Come on. I hear those chains falling. Oh, Jesus. I hear those chains falling. Now, like you mean to say, like you mean it right here. I hear those chains falling. Dora, before we dismiss, is this okay? Would you like her to pray over you and a blessing over you? Amen. Shall we want it? Shall we want it? What we're gonna do is she's gonna pray, we're gonna get, pick it back up, and that'll be dismissal. Amen. Amen. Okay, on the way out, remember if you like a CD of, of the music, you just ask in the bookstore. Praise the Lord, and um, we'll get that to you. Remember, what's the instruction? Listen to it. Let it minister to you a hundred times. And then what are you going to do after that? Spread the word.
God touches your heart, you're going to touch somebody else's heart for the glory of God. Okay. Amen. Food boxes. Um, if you need food box, again, they're available in the parking lot, across the parking lot tonight. Um, those are available. If you know some of the needs of food box, please make yourselves available to that. They're also available tomorrow after service. We'll be back here tomorrow morning at 1030 a.m. Online live plus here in person here in the church. That's, um, that's tomorrow. And then also um, in two weeks, don't forget, not next Saturday, but the following Saturday, we're also going to have a, a youth. We're going to open up the youth um, um, service for the, for the teenagers. And we're going to start that in two weeks. And we're gonna, that's going to be the beginning of our as we work our way back to the children's ministry amen so that's the next step so parents praise the lord bring your bring your teenagers on saturday night in two weeks okay praise the lord amen are you glad you came tonight i said are you glad you came tonight amen praise the lord um, um pastor dora we get a praise the lord Heavenly Father, we thank you right now. We give you honor and glory. We give you all the praise, Heavenly Father, all the praise, Heavenly Father, for what you did tonight. Thank you for the new hearts, Lord, because I know that there are some new hearts, brand new, Heavenly Father. Praise the Lord. I thank you for your people. I thank you for the opportunity that you have given us tonight to worship you and to give you praise, Lord. Right now, Heavenly Father, we're about to go out of this sanctuary, but not from your presence. We will continue in your presence wherever we go, Lord. And we thank you. Bless each and every one that is here tonight and those who are be watching um, online bless their hearts bless their lives and heavenly father we declare healing and restoration in the people's lives that are looking online also we thank you for what you did tonight in jesus mighty name we pray amen yeah. hallelujah praise the lord gloria to dios Power.